This presentation is brought to you by Brilliant at Brilliant.org, where we are bridging the digital divide for the blind. The following describes how to backup files and factory reset the HumanWare Braille Note Apex for blind and low vision individuals. Presented by Brilliant. Please visit our website at Brilliant.org. This is Taylor Rinder from Brilliant. This is going to be my last day of recording for the Braille Note Apex as I am getting the Braille Note Touch tomorrow. So hopefully I'll be able to show you guys you know what I think of it so I'm going to now cover backing up and backing up your files as well as how to preform a factory reset and this these are the procedures you need to go to go through when you are giving your apex away to somebody else as I am or you are donating any gate or perhaps you are getting a new brown so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in a flash drive and when I do that the brown note is going to prompt hard disk ready. So give me a few seconds. As you heard it said hard disk ready. Now the first thing you gotta do is you have to press U for the utilities menu followed by B for backup and restore. I'm going to switch the synthesizers to Eloquence so that you can hear it better, and then I'm going to turn the volume up to 23%. Switch. Switch volume level. Punctuation level. Not performance. Switch synthesizer for English. Currently in gold. Delete a work button. Switch synthesizer for English. Eloquence. Switch voice. Exit. Main menu. 20. Volume 21. All right. Now, I'm going to press U and B. Do you wish to backup or restore files? B. B. Backup which drive? Press enter for flash disk. We want to backup the flash disk. The flash disk is your internal hard drive. The hard disk is your flash drive. Now, this was because back then they didn't have flash drives, so HumanWare called it hard disk. But now with the Braille Note Apex, it is now going to be called USB Drive. So I'm going to press Enter here. Back up which folder? Press Enter for all. And we are going to back up all folders. Make backup of which drive? Press Enter for flash disk. Now pr I'm going to press H for hard disk. H hard disk. Make backup in which folder? Press Enter for January 2nd, 2006 backup. Now, it automatically creates a folder with the date on it so that you can back it up and do it into that folder. However, since I know that I'm going that this, these files are for my Braille Note Touch, I'm going to press spacebar. List of folders on hard disk. And if I press B, Braille Note Touch Backup. I find Braille Note Touch Backup. Note that when when you're backing up for the first time, you might need to type in Braille Note Touch Backup into the folder name because you have not created that folder yet. Then you press enter and it'll say create folder does not exist, create a new folder and you press Y for that, for yes, and it will create you List of a folder. Hard disk. Braille Note Touch Backup slash hard disk slash Braille Note Touch Backup slash Stephanie M. Cascone 2018.txt already exists. Replace. Now, since I've already backed up 14 files, I'm just going to press N for no. No. Slash hard disk slash braille no touch backup slash keysoft.blk already exists. Replace. I'm just going to continue to press N for no. No. So I've went through my files and I've said no for replacement, so now it's going to continue to back up my files. Note that those were the admin administrator files that have control of the Keysoft operating system. Do not replace these if you have the Braille Note Touch or if you're getting the Braille Note Touch. If you're going to get another Braille Note or an older Braille Note, press Y when prompt to replace. These will save your settings and so when you restore these files, your Braille Note will then be able to replace them in the proper folders and your settings will be stored.
the burner will beep until it is done. The Braille display is blank and it will continue to be blank until it is done. Note that this will be a very long process because it has to back up the entire hard drive. Six hundred four files copied. Utilities menu. The copy has been completed. Now we will cover the factory reset process. Press space with E to get out of the utilities menu. Exit. And then remove any external drives. This is so that when during the proce factory process, factory reset process, the Brona does not mistake it for any internal drives. If you leave the, if you leave the any external drives in, your external drives will be wiped out as well. So I'm going to remove my hard disk or my or my flash drive. Please wait. And I'm quickly going to flip the case down. Slide it in. And close it. Now we are ready to do this. First, you're going to press space with O for the options menu. Options menu. And then you're going to press space with I. This will enter a special mode. Support information mode. Now you are in support information mode. Support information mode is a maintenance mode that is used that is used when troubleshooting um when troubleshooting things like fixing raw notes. The two commands that I know here are are the factory reset command, which is backspace with ER contraction, as well as the status command, which is space with I, which gives you various information as to your hard drive space. Just to show you this feature, I'm going to press this command. Virtual memory free, 98%. Physical memory free, 49%. Flash disk free, 98%. Total physical memory, 187 megabytes. Flash disk size, 7580 megabytes. Support information mode. As you can see, it gives you various amount of information that can be helpful. Now, we need to perform the factory reset command, which is backspace with ER contraction. When you press this command, the Braille note will prompt you, is saying if you really want to do this. Warning. All settings will be restored to factory defaults, and all data stored on the device will be permanently erased. Are you sure you would like to continue? Now that I have backed up all of my files and stuff, I am now ready to perform the procedure. Press Y for yes. Note, you might want to think about it for a minute before pressing Y. If you change your mind, just press N. Yes. So I have performed the operation. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have your volume set down so that the next user who uses your braille note does not hear it screaming. So what I have done is I have pressed enter with dot one to turn it down and it is down. Now it's automatically set up and it asks you your thumb key set and your preferred Braille grade. And by default, they are on the standard UEUAB Braille code. So you want to change that. So the way you do that is you first press space with O. Options menu. You notice the voice has changed. This is the default voice. I'm going to press B for Braille options. Braille on, currently yes. And I'm going to press enter. Cursor shape for standard Braille, currently both dots seven and eight. Preferred reading grade, currently grade 2. Preferred English Braille code, currently USA. And you see, preferred English Braille code, currently USA. You want to press E. L-E-B. And enter. Computer Braille table, currently USA. 
Now it has switched braille codes. Now you can press space with E. Exit main menu. And you are back at your main menu and you are ready to give your Apex away. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Just be very careful when performing the factory reset procedure because if you don't have all your documents backed up, everything will be washed away. So that's all I have for today. As I said, be careful when performing the reset procedure. Make sure you have all your, all your things backed up. It's not as hard to back up as it is to back up before an iOS or Android software update because you don't have to worry about having iCloud storage be full. You can back it up to any USB drive or any um, SD card and it will work as long as the flash drive or SD card is formatted to MS-DOS and is not encrypted with Mac OS encryption. I will demonstrate how to encrypt and decrypt in a later video and I will also demonstrate how to set your USB drive to format it as MS-DOS so that you can use it for your Braille note and you will be able to back it up. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time with the Braille note touch. This has been a presentation by Brilliant at Brilliant.org where we are bridging the digital divide for the blind. If you like this video, please click the like button. And for more interesting videos, please subscribe to our channel.